Hi, I'm Una and I'm from Botswana. Two people helped me believe that God was real. One was my mother in the way that she lived and characterized her faith. And the other is my patients who teach me continuously about being compassionate. Um, I'm an uninvited guest in their suffering and um, I go through with them uh, very difficult situations. So I would say the outflow of that or the overflow of that is that I cannot be complacent in my faith. I have to figure out what God means to me and how to actually live in pursuit of him. My friend Julie Miller is one person who has helped me to see and believe that God is real and he cares about the details of our lives. She has done this by inviting me to run literally alongside her for the last four years. While training for marathons together, we spend our time talking about our lives and praying to Jesus. Out of the overflow of our relationship, I have become committed to weekly inviting another runner to go with me on a run. I have learned from Julie that a simple weekly invitation, listening, prayer, and setting running goals together is a unique opportunity for discipleship. During a time of personal crisis of faith, my friend Denise invited me to a Bible study. This focus was on a personal study of God's Word, and it was through her friendship in that study that I was able to see God in a way I hadn't seen Him before, outside the box that I had placed Him in, the box of people and even other Christians. And because of that, I have a passion to share with others how they too can see God in a real way, not just in times of crisis, but in their everyday lives, living out the calling that God has for them. He is real. Leanne helped me live like God is real by showing me what true hospitality looks like. She showed me that sometimes communion looks more like grilled cheese and tomato soup than crackers and juice. Because of her, I have the courage to open my doors and my arms and my ears and my heart to welcome people in in the name of Christ. Growing up, my mom wasn't always available but there was this magic group of people that I affectionately refer to as the ladies of the church and they invited me to their Bible study even though they were 20, 30, 40 years older than me um, and they just loved me and they read the Bible with me and when I go home I visit them and some of them came to my like graduation from seminary on the other side of the country and I know that I'm loved and cared for and I know that when women learn to disciple well, they don't just love one another, um, they'll actually raise one another's children.